Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is part 3 of our uh, EBBR to EDDB flight. In the first part we did the MCDU setup and cold and dark startup. In the second one, taxi takeoff and climb. And in the third one we are going to do descent and landing. We can see some clips here of me climbing out of EBBR. So we still haven't reached our cruising altitude. And uh, yeah, as soon as we reach our cruising altitude, I'll take it away from there. Uh, thank you again for tuning into this video. And if you like my content, please, please, please make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. I am coming up with more and more videos nowadays. And I'm also going to finish my Aero 3 tutorial series. So if you haven't checked that out, um, you should have the link in the description and somewhere on the top right corner here right now. Okay, see you on the flight deck. Alright, we are at cruising altitude right now and in order to prep for the descent we need to do a couple of things right now. So let's check first how far we are from our destination which is EDDP and that is 217 miles. So let's go ahead and check where we need to start descending. Now since this plane doesn't have VNAV, uh, by this plane I mean this specific add-on, fly-by-wire A320 does not have VNAV. So you need to manually calculate the top of descent and start descending at that point manually. So let's sync our current altitude which is 36990, our cruising altitude which is 37000 or flight level 370. Now our target altitude is going to be whatever altitude we have on the star here which is the standard arrival. So we need to be at 4000 at Lofto. So this is the altitude that I'm going to put in as a target altitude because we need to be at that point um, at Lofto. So according to the current speed and uh, if our target altitude is 4000 and if our current altitude stays this and we descend at an angle of minus 3 degrees we need to start our descent 104 nautical miles before Lofto. Now we'll be starting at approximately let's say 10 we'll be starting at 110 miles from the destination which will approximately put us at 104 miles from Lofto. So that's one of the things that you might want to do um, on this airplane as soon as you reach a uh, cruising altitude or as soon as you think that you're near the descent point. Okay, so we are 114 miles out from Leipzig. So I'm going to start descending right here because I want to give it some room and also Lofto is about 10 miles or so from the airport. So let's descend to 4000 since that is our initial altitude we need to be at. So I changed the setting to 4000 and then hit up arrow key so that it goes into the managed descent mode. So you'll see that it is locked on descent now. And while we are descending, let's fill in our destination information and also review the destination charts. So it already says enter destination data. So let's go ahead and do that. So performance and approach. So our QNH at EDDP is 1028 and outside air temperatures are 5 degrees. So 1028 and outside air temperatures are 5 degrees. Let's check the winds as well. Uh, 320 at 5 knots. Okay. 320 at 5. Now let's go ahead and check our charts as well. So we are going to do a CAT3 ILS runway 26 right. We are going to enter in at Lofto and then descend to 3000 at DP438 and then stay at 3000 until Kilo Oscar Sierra and then get into 26 right. So transition altitude is 5000 feet. So I'm going to change that here. So this is the altitude where we'll shift from standard to local QNH. 
for barrow we'll put in 548 which is the decision height here our approach here shows kind of messed up and i hope it clears out by the end but yeah not sure what's happening here we'll probably fly manual into lofto and then align ourselves to 26 right everything looks good i think we have entered all the information needed for a cat 3 landing it's quite cloudy outside today so hopefully we'll have a nice scenic landing and some uh, cloud surfing too before we break through it so i think i've kind of fixed the approach here and i th think the issue was i had hit overfly onto lofto so it was trying to overfly on lofto take a huge turn get here and then get back there so as soon as i cleared out lofto as the overfly point it was all good we're still descending pretty healthy i believe we are going to be at exactly 4000 at dp 5 459 and then we'll take a turn so let's review our landing calculator real quick 41 nautical miles before target and we are 58 out so we are doing good i am going to change our target altitude to 3000 now because since we have 4000 already planned in the fmc it is going to put us at 4000 at lofto and then it will automatically descend us to 3000 when we hit dp 437 We've just hit 10,000 feet right now, so we are slowing down to 250. I'm going to help a little bit with the speed brakes here so that we can keep on descending at the same um, descent rate. Okay, so we are at 250, but I'm going to still keep the speed brakes on at least until we reach uh, 4,000. Let's check if our radio page looks good. We have the ILS frequency in which I think is the correct one it is 108.35 so that looks good it's going to get a bit busy now look at that view Enable localizer. What I'll also do is activate approach phase when we are just about to turn. I think we can activate approach phase now confirm it Our speed brake is still on, so I'm gonna I just armed it by mistake, which we don't need to do right now. I feel like we're going to be at 4000. I want to help it a bit. Okay, so our transition altitude was 5,000 feet, so we are now changing to QNH of 1028. It's still 1028, so that's good. 1028, there we
Now hopefully we should capture the localizer since we are in the localizer mode. Yeah, I think we are good. And then as soon as the glide slope starts kicking in, I'm going to press the approach button so that we can capture the glide slope as well. And then we'll enable autopilot 2 for a full um, auto land. Alright, so we are turning into 26 right. We have the localizer captured. At this point, I think I can stop using the speed brakes here. And before I forget, I'm going to turn the landing lights on. We will brief. Flight attendants, please prepare for landing. The crew about it. And our flaps one point is right before Kosam. So we crossed Lofto at 4000 which is perfect. And I think we were supposed to be at 4000 at DP 438 as well and then descend to 3000 at 437. Okay, so we are still good there. Lovely weather today. We can reduce the range on this more. About 13 nautical miles from the airport. So now that I see it coming in, I'm going to activate the approach. And we'll be descending now. So I think we are at a good point where we, we need to go flaps one. I'll arm the ground spoilers. We turn the seatbelt signs on. Forgot to do that earlier. I'll have to help it a little bit more with. reducing the speed to the S speed here and I'm gonna turn autopilot 2 on as well which will put us into cat 3 dual this is what you need to do in order to do a full auto land 2500 so we are at 3000 at COSAM which is great that's what we needed to be at QNH check still 1028. Now I'm going to enable flaps 2. We'll start descending here. About I think 6 nautical miles. I'm going to put the gears down here. Auto brakes will be set to low because we have a long enough runway. Spoilers are armed and flaps will be full soon. Cabin is ready because we had already briefed them about it. And I'm gonna hit flaps full when I hit the F speed. Because you don't want to over speed by um, deploying the flaps early. There we go. We can go full flaps now. We are fully configured for a landing, so that's good. Now it's all about waiting for the retard alarm.
1,000. Looking really nice. Hopefully I don't press the landing gear button because what I usually do is in order to enable the reversers I press the landing gear button by mistake and mess up the whole landing. I won't do that today. 500. So as soon as it says retard I'm gonna go throttle idle 400. and then enable the reversers when we are landed fully. You can say that, see that we are in the land mode. Right on the glide slope as well. Perfect. Two hundred. Hundred above. Continue. One hundred. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Ten. Retard. We've safely landed, enabling reversers. There we go. That's the mistake I usually make. Anyways, not getting reversers today, so we'll have a long stop. We'll probably go up to the end of the runway here. 100 knots. I'm going to start braking at about 90. Usually you should start braking at 80. Okay, I think we are good to start braking. Yeah, I'm not sure what's wrong with my throttle calibration. I think I did it and checked it. But... I guess with the new version I had to do it again and that's probably why we messed up the reversers today but that's okay we caught it in time and uh, safely landed at Leipzig so thank you all for tuning in and watching this video I upload a lot of content on my channel. I'm also finishing up a series for Piper Aero 3. So if you guys want to watch all of those videos, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. Please like the video as well. It really helps the channel a lot. And especially since I only have 200 subscribers, it helps a lot to reach uh, more audience. So yeah, thanks a lot and see you on the next video.